everyone, this is Jason, and um, just uh, apologizing for my voice, but I have been coughing a lot this week, um, but um, I have been out of work this week, and the reason why is I have um, a bit of a upper respiratory kind of a thing going on, and I decided um, to be productive during the week I was off of work, and I decided to start my cosplay. So. Um, I started by looking at the pattern and I decided I would just focus on the accessories first because as someone who is a beginner and not particularly good with sewing myself, um, I decided to just start with accessories. The last thing I sewed before this was a sleeping mask that I made as a gift for a friend. And that one was kind of a bit rough around the edges. Kind of literally, it wasn't the nicest thing. But um, it was a good um, starting point, I guess, for going back into sewing. So, what happened was I got the materials, I got some satin fabric, I got some tracing paper to trace the pattern so that I could keep the pattern in case I make a mistake, which I'm glad I did. Um, I'll tell you in a little bit, but it was, it all turned out like, I, and I even bought, you know, new materials and things like that, and they all totaled up to be $20 uh, about. Um, it also helped that there were some sewing stuff at home, and I did have some sewing machines and a hemming machine available to me as well so that was a very big advantage um so i, I as i started the pattern i traced it on tracing paper and um my thinking was if i did the accessories first then it'd be easier for me and so what it is what uh, what i did excuse me was i traced it and uh, I transferred the pattern onto the satin. Now, uh, apparently, satin is very difficult to work with, and I had to learn the hard way. Um, it was f um, very slippery, and I was very discouraged because the patterns didn't match. But I, I still didn't want to stop doing what I had to do. So I cut out the pattern, and on the tracing paper and I traced it on the satin then I cut out the satin and the interface now I'm not sure if interface is usually straight or because mine was um, very crooked and didn't seem to line up with the pattern it also didn't help that I it, it didn't match up to what I had cut and I'm not quite sure why but Anyway, after I did that, I decided to take a break, and the next day, um, I continued with the sewing. Um, I had pinned it together, and I had decided to um, mark the seam, and um, unfortunately, I don't think I marked the seam correctly, or maybe it's just because I'm so new to the sewing machine, but once I ran it through, it seemed to be, uh, I don't know what the word is. Just seemed to get really messy, um, and because I'm so new to the sewing machine, I haven't really used one. The last time I used one was when my grandmother was still living with me. Um, but again, it was very difficult, and I had to learn a lot of. I actually had to go through the instruction manual to figure out what I was doing. I even looked at videos. Uh, so I guess one thing I learned from that is kind of wanna do your research, I guess, to so that you, know, you don't have to waste your time relearning things. I'm the kind of person that likes to read instruction manuals, but if you're that kind of person, maybe that doesn't need to read one, good for you. I need to read the instructions. But uh, anyways, after that, um, reading an instruction manual, getting familiar with the machine, figuring out how to do stitching, I made the full decision of not testing it out myself on pieces of scrap fabric because um, it was kind of demonstrated to me instead of me doing it. So I, I guess um, that kind of affected how it came out, the, the seam anyway. And 
It was not straight and it was not pretty, but I did not let that discourage me. So I just kept going and um, let's see, after that I had to turn that thing inside out. So um, I had to sew the top and I had to sew the bottom, but not completely closed off so that um, I would be able to turn it inside out. Now the tricky part for that day, which took a whole day for me, it was very difficult. I don't know if you have that problem where you just need to take a step back, but I had to turn that thing inside out and I had to walk away from it uh, and, and I got too frustrated and, and then I could come back to it again. And eventually I was able to get it out in a fit of anger. <laughs> I kind of ripped the seam too, and uh, I used I actually used a mixture of safety pins, elastic, and back scratcher, which was a long stick, and just poked it through the little hole that I could. Um, then the difficult part was the elastic tape, and I had to figure out how to gather it together. Unfortunately, um, it was. It was really discouraging because at this point I had to I had to redo the bottom seam a couple times because I had stitched the seam crooked or too clo or too far uh, and I thought that maybe if I had moved if I moved the stitch close to the edge um, that would that would help me uh, it didn't I think what really helped though was making the stitches uh, longer rather than small stitches because then if I made a mistake I could just use the seam ripper and just fix it. Now <laughs> I was very frustrated at this point and I'm getting very discouraged um, but I managed to sew hand sew the elastic on. I'm not quite sure how to do that on the sewing machine. The instructions were a bit vague for me. I don't, it wasn't very specific I guess but <laughs> Nonetheless, I hand sewed the elastic band on, but when it came to putting it all together, I wasn't quite sure. The edges had been frayed uh, far beyond recognition, and I decided that I would just stop because I didn't want to go too crazy, <laughs> and I wanted to enjoy my weekend. So I stopped, and I'm just looking at it right now. It's staring me in the face. I guess I'll put in a picture you guys to look at. I'm not happy with it, but I am happy that I tried it. Um, my next idea is to, my next, my, the, my next step is to go and do another accessory because right now it, it, that's just something I need to step away from. I'm going to work on the belt. The belt looks a bit more easier. Honestly, I probably should have started with the belt first, but um, well, I'm glad. Well, it's a good thing I made a mistake, so I can learn from it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I guess it's an audio, and there's video of me doing the sewing or tracing, whatever I did. At a certain point, I had to stop recording because I was being frustrated, and I didn't want to that to you guys but that was me and doing the headband also I forgot to get a star applique I guess I have to buy that another day which is but I'm gonna just take a step away from it and I'll come back to it later um, I've never done a simplicity pattern but here it is and uh, I learned a lot I learned a lot about stitches, I learned a lot about interface, <laughs> I learned a lot about going to the fabric mart. <laughs> By the way, the lady who cut my fabric did not cut it straight. She cut it very crooked and it didn't look really nice. Um, I don't know if that matters when you put it together, but that's what happened. Anyway, uh, if you guys like this, uh, please comment, um, subscribe, um, like this video if you want, and I hope to see you guys another time. Hopefully, I'll be better at what I'm doing. Alright then, I'll see you guys later. Ciao!